I remember how heartbreaking it was that gorgeous spring day when I was sitting out back with my two toddlers and they were playing in the grass and my three-year-old came up to me and asked, mommy, can you come play with us? And for like the fourth time that week, I had to say, no, I'm too exhausted. I was only 36 years old at the time and felt like I was living in the body of an 80 year old. It was that day that I decided that I had to do something because I was living in a shell of who I used to be. But I also remember being so overwhelmed with what I had to do because for years, my doctor had told me that there was absolutely nothing I could do other than take medication and that diet would absolutely not work. So I had to ask myself, do I take a chance? Do I try diet and see if it works? What do I do? What diet do I do? Do I do it by myself? Do I make my family do it? So many decisions and so many things to go through. And I got overwhelmed and felt paralyzed. But luckily, I was able to get over that. Unfortunately, I see time and time again, my clients, friends, and family all going through this, trying to determine whether or not they should do something for their autoimmune disease and get so overwhelmed with all of the information out there that they don't do anything. And when you do that, what does that do with the autoimmune attack against your tissues and your rest of your life with all of the symptoms that you're feeling? How is that possibly going to stop that if you just give up? So I boiled it down to three main steps that I think are the most important steps to take when trying to do something about your autoimmune disease that puts you back in power. So number one is to open yourself up to the possibilities that diet or lifestyle changes like changing your sleep or dialing in your exercise and really managing your stress and even coming over the limiting beliefs and all of that stuff that goes through your mind can have on your autoimmune disease. This may not seem like a big step, but I would argue that it's the biggest because if you don't believe something is possible, how hard are you going to try to really accomplish it? Probably not very hard, right? Let me give you some examples. So say Sally has struggled for years with her autoimmune disease symptoms and her doctor her trusted medical authority has told her that there is absolutely nothing that she can do other than maybe take medication. And she completely trusts her doctor. And if her doctor says diet won't help, do you think Sally's going to believe that if she changes her diet, it's going to do anything? Probably not, right? She may half-heartedly start a diet and try it out, but she's probably not going to continue with it when the going gets hard because she doesn't believe it's going to do anything for her. Or what about Jane? She tried a 30-day gluten-free diet last year, but she also snuck in some pizza and beer with friends halfway through that. After the 30 days, she didn't feel better, so she has declared that gluten-free isn't for her and that gluten doesn't affect her whatsoever. Do you think she believes that gluten is a problem and that she'll ever attempt that diet again? No. So before you do anything, check in with yourself and figure out if you really do believe that what you're embarking on is going to help you. And if it doesn't, dig into that resistance and find out what it is that's holding you back. Maybe go through the interviews that are on my YouTube channel or some of the other YouTube videos to hear stories of people that have gone through it successfully or do some more research on your own and find out the medical studies backing up the particular way that you want to go. All of that kind of stuff will help you into believing that it's a possibility for you. But make sure you believe in it because otherwise it's kind of pointless to continue. Now, number two is to do the research and get a plan in place. Once you've opened yourself up to all the possibilities, it's important to get a plan of action into place. You really want to feel good about your choice. So take some time with the step and go through the various options for dealing with an autoimmune disease. It could be doing the autoimmune protocol, AIP diet, or paleo like I suggest on this channel, but if it does not fit in with your lifestyle, it doesn't have to be. Perhaps you're vegetarian, or maybe you wanna try a carnivore diet, or maybe you wanna just try 60 minutes of meditation a day. Any of these is fine, as long as you just pick one and you stick with it for a while just to see if it makes a difference. It's also important to do the research around it just so you understand why it works and if, maybe if it really means anything to you, the medical studies or testimonials of people that have gone through it, just so you know that you're not blindly trying something that maybe won't 
really work for you. And you can always change if it doesn't work for you and try something else. It's just important to pick one thing and try to stick with it at first. And then once you figure it out what you're going to do, start figuring out a plan on how to implement it. Maybe that means getting some freezer meals into your freezer so that way if you are too busy to cook, you have meals ready to go. Or finding five easy recipes so that way you don't have to be searching on the internet when you're all busy and having a brain fatigue and all of that kind of stuff. You just have them ready to go and you can just take out the ingredients and cook. Learn all you can about making your choice easier, faster, and more efficient. And then gather people around you that will help you through this and support you through it. Ask them for help. Ask them to be positive and not judgmental because you really want to figure out if this is going to help you feel better. And then the final step is to simply do it. I know this could be the most difficult step. A lot of times giving up foods is so hard, but really look at any resistance you have up against this step as well. Things like, are you afraid it's not going to work? Maybe reframe that with what if it does work? Imagine feeling 15 years younger and having no symptoms within six weeks of trying a new diet. I know it's possible because it happened to me. And are you reluctant to remove your favorite foods from your diet? Trust me, this is a pretty common one that we all go through. But many times it's only temporary. And if it is a little bit more permanent, like gluten is for many of us, there are so many gluten-free options now that it's hardly even noticeable. And are you afraid it's going to be hard? Well, I'm not going to lie and say that it's going to be easy because it's probably not going to be. However, what's harder? Going on a restrictive diet and removing food so that way you can figure out if something is bothering you and reduce your inflammation and all that? Or living with the symptoms that you have and them possibly getting worse, getting more autoimmune diseases, and just letting that autoimmune attack run rampant in your body for the rest of your life. One of them is going to probably make you feel a lot better and stop the autoimmune attack. And one of them is just going to be something you're going to live with for your life and it's going to get worse and worse. Which one's harder? I know which one I chose and I don't regret it for one second. I know this sounds like an oversimplified method to address your disease, but that's on purpose. Sometimes we overthink things and think of all of the different steps that have to be done. And then again, like I said, you get paralyzed and you don't do anything. Here are three simple steps to do. To recap, open yourself up to the possibilities. Number two, do the research and get a plan in place. And three, just do it. And if you want help with the research part, I've got a lot of videos here on YouTube that talk a lot about the different diets. I have interviews with people that have gone through it, all of that kind of stuff. On my website, I have an autoimmune 101 mini course that runs you through all of the possibilities and all of that stuff. So I'll link to that in the description. And if you want a proven plan that's helped so many people with either the autoimmune protocol, AIP diet or paleo diet and support through dialing in your sleep, exercise intensity, stress management, and even those mindset blocks that are holding you back, then I invite you to join the autoimmune collective. With an all access VIP pass, you get access to the autoimmune meal prep section, which teaches you all about the food, gets you easy recipes, makes the whole entire thing so much easier. With the exercise program, you get access to Qigong, which is like Tai Chi and yoga workouts, and even some like strength training and things like that, that are specifically designed for people with autoimmune disease so that you do not flare from doing these. And then you also get access to the Lifestyle Lab, which gives you guided meditations, EFT tapping, hypnosis audios, and so much more to dial in that sleep and stress and those limiting beliefs are melted away so that you no longer have to deal with those. And so much more. Plus you get two group calls a month to get that support you need. And it has the most supportive non-judgmental community that I think exists on the earth for autoimmune disease. I know I'm a little biased, but still. So I invite you to join us at autoimmunecollective.com so we can cheer you on so hard while you get your life back. Thanks so much. I'll see you later.